Hey everyone, Alex from O'Brien here. The Universal Base from Nobel BioCare has been a great option for fabricating scrimentable crowns, but they were previously only available for the conical connection implants. Well, Nobel recently expanded their line of Universal Base abutments to include the trilobe and external hex implants, and also a version that fits over the multi-unit abutments. But even better than that, they've now introduced non-engaging Universal Bases as well and this will allow you to make splinted, scrumentable restorations. If you watched my previous video on tie bases, you may recall that non-engaging options are somewhat limited when using original parts, so this is an exciting addition to the Nobel prosthetic line. Now, Nobel did already have the Nobel Procera Zirconia implant bridges, which featured a tie base that's mechanically retained to the zirconia structure, and those are still a great option. But these new non-engaging abutments will allow you to choose other restoration types instead of being limited to zirconia only. Whatever your preferred restoration type is, you can make it using the universal base. Unlike the Nobel Procera zirconia implant bridges though, these bases will be attached to the restoration using cement. All right, so let's take a look at the full lineup and if you wanna to skip to a specific type, you can use the timestamps in the description below. First, we'll take a look at the engaging bases. These are used for single unit restorations and can typically also be used in one implant of a splinted restoration as long as the other abutments are non-engaging. As mentioned, they are now available for the conical connection, trilobe, and external hex implants. For the conical connection implants, the engaging universal base is available in two margin height options of 1.5 and 3 millimeters. The abutment height not including the margin height is 4 millimeters for both. And that's the same for all of the conical connection platforms. It is important to point out that the universal bases are not available for the 3 millimeter platform. Their design features two nodes that provide anti-rotation as well as retention due to the undercuts on the bottom side. Two horizontal grooves near the coronal portion of the abutment provide additional retention. And these universal bases use the standard conical connection clinical screws, which get torqued to 35 newton centimeters with the Unigrip screwdriver. For the trilobe implants, there is only one margin height option, and that height actually varies depending on the implant platform. It's a 0.5 millimeter margin for the NP, 0.1 for the RP, 0.2 for the WP, and 0.4 millimeter for the 6 millimeter platform. And for the trilobe implants, you have two abutment height options of 3 mm and 5 mm, and again, those don't include the margin height. The design of these universal bases is very different than the style of the conical connection bases. They feature one notch at the coronal end of the abutment, which provides anti-rotation, and two sets of indented lines that spiral down the abutment to provide retention. And these universal bases use the standard trilobe clinical screws, which get torqued to 35 newton centimeters with the Unigrip screwdriver. For the external hex implants, the abutment options are the same as for the conical connection, which means you have the two margin height options of 1.5 and 3 millimeters with an abutment height of 4 millimeters. These abutments also have the exact same design features as those for the conical connection implants. These bases use the standard external hex clinical screws, which get torqued to 35 newton centimeters with the Unigrip screwdriver. Next, we'll take a look at the non-engaging options, and these are used for making splinted restorations only. The connection between the abutment and the implant lacks any kind of anti-rotation feature, so using them for a single unit restoration would cause the restoration to rotate on the implant. And again, these are now available for the conical connection, trilobe, and external hex implants, as well as for the multi-unit abutment. For the conical connection implants, the non-engaging bases come with a margin height of 1.5 millimeters and an abutment height of 4 millimeters. And it's just that one option for all of the platforms. And once again, these are not available for the 3 millimeter implant. And the design of these abutments include two indented spiraling lines for retention. The abutments don't have any anti-rotation elements since they're used for splinted restoration only, but they do feature a tab on each side of the abutment that provides some mechanical retention between the base and the crown. When the crown is designed with the CAD software, the design actually intersects a small node on each of those tabs. So when the crown is seated on the abutment, those tabs get pushed inward slightly, which then provides outward force to hold the crown in place. Just like the non-engaging gold adapt UCLA abutments, 
these non-engaging bases rest on top of the conical connection implants. So you'll want to plan ahead and use the bridge healing abutments if you plan to use these for your splinted restorations. These bases use the OmniGrip screw and get torqued to 35 newton centimeters using the OmniGrip screwdriver. The non-engaging bases for the trilobe and external hex implants have the exact same design as those for the conical connection implants. That includes the 1.5 millimeter margin, the 4 millimeter abutment height, the retention lines, and the mechanical retention tabs. The big difference is that the bases for trilobe and external hex don't use the OmniGrip screws and instead come with the standard clinical screws that get torqued to 35 newton centimeters with the Unigrip screwdriver. And finally, the non-engaging bases for the Nobel multi-unit abutments share a similar design as those for the conical, trilobe, and external hex. The main difference being the margin height, which is just 0.3 millimeters, and the abutment height, which is 4.5 millimeters. These abutments use the newer OmniGrip mini screws and get torqued to just 15 newton centimeters using the OmniGrip mini screwdriver. All of the non-engaging universal bases allow for up to 30 degrees of divergence between implants. Keep in mind that when using these and any other stock bases, the margin heights are fixed. So if you have a deep implant and a short margin, such as the 0.1 found on the trilobe RP bases, the crown material is going to extend all the way to that margin, which may cause excessive pressure on the tissue. Each restorative material has a minimum thickness that needs to be maintained for integrity, and you may need to do some tissue training to accommodate for that. I hope you found this video helpful, and as always, feel free to contact us with any questions. See you next time.